think that I can get over all of my problems I've been thinking who the fuck am I to disagree I heard I'm pretty dope so I guess I gotta oblige inside I've been plotting on the way that we get elevated Massacre the truck with your skill I never hesitate I put a lot of time into the craft to make it resonate I regulate with repetition I could be the greatest But ever me a logical the other have a lady Practice all the patience that I got in my attendant Mind I'm in a mother in the race so in a minute I make it relatable evade the negativity at all costs Trying to find my way I'm feeling so lost Find me in the zone I gotta focus But that can be an issue woman did it to the work It's all I ever wanna do pursue the purpose that I'm pleading for and need a more to pity Many minuscule opinions picking apart the immaculate happily I'm pathetic and naturally authentic The sentence is sentimental Like the words are just a piece of my soul I just send it to the artists that I want to be I demonstrate my dominance and derelict with dialect my head You have a reason why you are here. You are powerful. You are. You are. I am free. I am me. I am happy. I am loving life. I am a success. I am young, visionary. Today, I decided I am going to tell you a story, a particular story about my life that still terrifies me to this day. Let me make sure nothing valuable is really visible in my car. I was very hesitant to want really to do this portion of this video. It really does gear towards Pain equals your greatness. But this particular moment in my life, I never wanted to go back to. This still terrifies me. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> after having a brief moment of silence to myself, I want to start this off by saying thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in to everything um, I've posted so thus far. Um, I love the support. This is really what I want to do. Not not as far as just vlogging, but doing media type stuff. So, why am I here? This, my friends, is where I started from. What? Okay, that's scary. Um, this is where I started from. I used to live in a hotel room due to the fact that I didn't... Wait, is that Aubrey? Okay, no, that's... Okay, okay. I'm being precautious, guys, because this is not a good area. Um, shit, let me just go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm scared as fuck. I'm scared as fuck. I'm scared as fuck. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Nope. Yep. Oh, we dipping, dip. Okay, nope. Can't do it. Sorry, guys. This is good. Like, <laughs> Nope, 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 For about two weeks um the first week was amazing yeah i felt like i could really decide on my own 
on what I want to do with my life. Well, <laughs> at least until the responsibilities came up. Um, I first week I got help with the cousin of mine who took me to get groceries. Um, I paid, of course, but nonetheless, um, the next week after that was terrifying. Um, I got hungry and I went out at around 11, it's 11.30 at night um, to get something from 7-Eleven, which was a few blocks down. I didn't mind walking. And while on the phone with, at the time, my girlfriend, um, I walked past these couple guys. This is after I got my food. And some didn't feel right, but I felt so relieved when I realized that one of them is someone I knew. And in that moment, I felt secure, I guess, being that I knew the person, that I associated myself with this person in high school. Well, no. <laughs> Wrong answer. I got jumped by all five of them. Um, this guy in the balcony is the only reason why I'm still here. He called out, and when he called out, I was able to run. I couldn't fight all five of them. I'm no hero. And I don't go against the action that I took. It's either fight or flight, and flight was already there. I woke up. Um, when I say I woke up, I uh, got to my hotel room and I fell unconscious. I woke up from it thinking that it was all a nightmare until I heard crying on, on my earphone from my um, iPhone 4S. Um, I asked the person who was on the phone, which at the time was my girlfriend, what was wrong? He said it was I okay, and I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm great. Like, what do you mean? I'm, I had a terrible nightmare, though. I can tell you that. <laughs> but I looked down, and I was bleeding on my knees, and I was missing a shoe, just like in the dream. You see, pain equals your greatness. Pain takes you to a whole nother level of appreciation to what you have currently versus what you went through previously. It took me a long time to understand that. It, it took me 23 years to really understand that I should be grateful whether I'm not where I want to be now or in comparison to others, I'm not where I want to be. My life has been different from others, and I get that. But with the differences that come to show, I'm able to present my life as an example that even through everything that happens in your life, there's still an ability to push through, to keep going, and follow your passion. Sometimes it takes longer than others takes longer but that's the way of life God's not on your time you're on his with pain equals your greatness the lesson learned through this situation provided to me in the past has shown me that who you surround yourself with equals to what will end up to you. Okay, guys, the party has started. Oops. Oh, no. My angel. That's okay. It was resemblance with mom, but mom's always there, so. All right, so, why are we here? We're at Clothing Mentor. Um, I am going to see how much I can get. 
out of my stuff. It's just nothing out there. What you say about the haters? Huh? About the haters trying to get in your way? <laughs> well, my thing really is number one, like your dream now, keep pushing. If you don't, before you realize it, somebody else gonna come back up and say something maybe that uh, make you say, I don't know, I'm not gonna do this, I can't do this. It won't be laughing at me, it won't be making fun of me. We worry so much about what somebody might say or do. Think about what you really want to do, understand? Ain't no way you can grow up here by yourself. Push. Come up with this like what you got, your idea. You fulfill your dream. If somebody around the corner gonna get jealous of you. So you continue to push yourself, continue to do it. Then you become a friend, a lot of friends. Two hours later. Like you saying, it's like you're one person. Yeah. And if you don't have any like employees, you can see where I got all my, all my dents and stuff circled. That's not, oh, you, you saw, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull them out. I'm that's not bad. I have like three dents from people just kind of like just dinking my door. No, you want like uh, Instagram or anything? Yeah, man, hold on. Well, oh, I'm on my phone now. Damn. No, you're good. What's your, uh, let me see that. Yeah, look, search for you right there. I'm about to have to go around and meet my body. He's up there waiting for me. I'm oh, sorry, player. No, you're good, bro. You're good. I ain't stressing. Let me do my actual. Yeah, he, can, he can wait. <laughs> Dead fees. I'm actually making this for an actual like YouTube video, so you're probably be in it if you want to yeah, be in no, it. That's cool. So anyways, what's your name again? Cam. Cam. Nice right, to meet you, player. Yeah, you too, bro. All right, player. Take care. I mean, you too. A detailer. He stopped because of the same reason I stopped doing plastic dip. The reason why, because you, if you don't have any empl employees, you're not, um, you're going to struggle. Your back's going to hurt. My back right now is on fire because I'm always knilting down to, to spray the right, you know, portion of the rim. And if you don't have any employees, nobody helping you, you're, you're kind of stuck wondering why am I doing this? Anyways, I'm gonna do a whole look around on this car. He allowed me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Um, again, y'all, I want to review each and every one of these cars. I don't care if it's a Honda Civic, I don't care if, if you did any type of work into it, that is you. A buddy of mine said that. Um, that is you, that, that's your personality, that's, the car represents you. So, I don't care what kind of car it is. Um, comment the car, email me, dippingdynamics at gmail.com. I will come to you and we will review your car, whether society approves it or not. What the hell for the hell? what? Yo, what's good? What's What's good, man? Hey, hey, I'm I'm actually filming for this dude's car just now. What? What's, bro, look at this, look at this dude right here, man. Put this thing in the trunk if you need hey, to. Hey, what? What's this? Yours? Yeah, bro. Damn, boy, what the? <laughs> Hold on, man. What? Yo, yeah, this yours? Yeah, bro. I'm trying to figure out what do you do. I'm going to review your car. You're next. Definitely. Yo, what in the? Oh, like, I did not expect that, man. Yo, my boy Roger got a Mustang. Oh, it's amazing how many people you see out here. Like, I'm, I didn't expect that. My boy got a Mustang. I'm jealous. Ah, I'm all right. I love you, Scarlett. Yeah. Uh. Got 
gotta make what I gotta take, gotta make a wish, gotta shoot the ball so I gotta switch, gotta never miss, always gotta make, never with the face, always gotta hate what a young can do, what he tryna make, paint a vivid vision, this is only the beginning, from beginning to the end, I'll be on a money mission, gotta stack a hundred mil, and another hundred mil, then get a record deal. Uh, paint a vivid vision, this is only the beginning, from beginning to the end, I'll be on a money mission, gotta stack a hundred mil. I am me, I am happy, I am loving life, I am a success. I am